Kata versus Zoom, take two. So you might have seen my video about the DZO Vespid Prime, the 40 millimeter. I actually really like that lens and use it on a lot of projects. Well, now they have some full frame zooms that they've made. Do you want to compare it up against another uh, zoom lens and see if they're any good? Yeah, sure. So that's what we're going to do. So there's a lot I like about these two lenses, but there's one thing about each of them that I really don't like. We'll get to that later. Price-wise, they're pretty comparable. The DZOs can be had as a pair for around six grand or so uh, for tax, and the Rangers can be had for about 5,800 a pair. They both come with EF and PL mount uh, mounts. We are gonna compare them head to head and see which one ends up being our favorite. Let the combat begin! So as always, we're gonna do a scientific test and we're gonna compare them without bias, like how they stack up against each other with like flares and with their uh, close focus breathing and uh, overall look and feel and their build quality. If you wanna see the full test, uh, I've got it in my Vimeo. Check it out in the description there, full quality. You can see every little detail, but there'll be a, a really chopped up version right here. And go. <laughs>
scientific test doesn't give you the whole story, right? You want to see how it's used in action because tests are just tests. So check out this little example video that I filmed with a director, this interesting little project uh, shot on the DZOs. Okay, first thing we're gonna look at is the flares. This is one area where the rangers do have a little bit of a leg up over the DZOs is they have this nice little bloominess to the flares. It has this very beautiful little, just has a nice little shape to it. It doesn't have, it has a little bit more of a random texture, whereas the DZOs have that classic, the really like rigid kind of starring, especially when you stop down. It's really, it's really, really apparent when you stop down. Maybe you like that look, but I'm personally more drawn to the more kind of softer look of the rangers. However, the on the tighter end of the rangers they have these and it only happens when you go past 100 millimeters to like 135 in the one uh in the 180 range on the rangers you get these very weird circular like bendy weird it's disgusting i hate those flares uh absolutely uh, like atrocious looking flares um so that's a really a knock on the on the rangers there i just wish that the the character that you got out of the wide angle ones and the wider end of the tighter ones carried through the whole zoom range. So yeah, not liking the inconsistency with the flares there. Overall, the DZO's flares is, it's got this, um, you know, it's, it's more consistent, but it's a little more on like kind of the, the, it looks a little more digital, I would say. When it comes to close focus and uh, breathing, I would say this is also another instance where the Rangers actually do have another leg up on the DZO's. Quick interruption here uh, I realized I made a mistake the uh, what I said here about the uh, DZOs uh, or the Rangers outperforming the DZOs on close focus it's actually only true with the wide angle the tighter versions of the DZOs actually do outperform the Rangers you're gonna see here in the tests but just to note that what I'm about to say is actually not true okay back to the video they have better close focus as you can see here overall consistently on both sets they, we, we moved our, our patch much closer to the camera to get better close focus. And I wouldn't even say that breathing wise, the DZOs are particularly bad. They're actually quite nice. Like the Vespids didn't breathe hardly at all, but these ones do breathe very, very, very minimally. The Rangers didn't breathe like hardly at all. That's a huge plus for the Rangers on that front. This is a shorter one, but when it comes to zoom range, no pun intended, the Rangers have more range. They can go wider all the way to 28 as opposed to just 35 on the wide end of the the, the katas and uh they go way tighter to 180 as opposed to just the 135. but now we get to a really interesting part of the test where we're looking at not some of the features of the characteristics but we're looking at the overall quality and the build and the consistency of these lenses which when you use them in a professional setting matters I would say way more than some of the other things we looked at. Overall, I would say that the cat, the Cata zooms themselves have a much higher quality, much better built feel. The gears themselves have a much smoother range. I've just noticed this over the cross of the board with all DZO lenses. The Focus gears and the Iris gears turn so, so easily, much more like what you would expect on a higher end cinema lens. The Rangers just feel unnecessarily like like sticky and like hard to turn, and that's very characteristic of a very a much cheaper lens. I will say one thing: the 
Rangers do come with a metal front cap, which you can hear here, as opposed to the plastic cap on the DZOs. Small thing, it's worth noting though. But when you pay this kind of money for lenses, normally you would want both your zooms or all of your prime sets to be consistent in terms of exposure, right? You want T4 or T29 on one lens to be the exact same on the other lens. Fortunately for DZO, their quality control is is really apparent here. Like they 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 make sure that the the optics of one lens match up with the optics of the other one in terms of their T-stops are actually accurate. This is unfortunately not the case with the Rangers. T29 on one lens is on the wider lens is darker than on the tighter lens. So you don't know if T4 on one lens is gonna be exactly T4 on the other lens. And this is fine for run and gun, I guess, if you're not having to try to like match shots, but if you're trying to make a movie or you're trying to like work with a crew here, uh, this is a huge problem. And I would not be comfortable using this on a, on a, on a proper film set. Another thing which you might not be able to see from here is there's there's individual third stop markings on the CATA zooms. Uh, so you can be really precise through the exposure. It's non-existent on the Ranger zooms. So you're only, you're only looking at full stops here. So you can't be as consistent when trying to match exposure between shots. It's just harder with this one because you don't have the markings. And now let's move on to the final part, which is just the overall look and feel. This might be like a preference thing, but um, the Rangers sort of have a bit of a colder, sort of higher contrast, sharper look. This is more characteristic of like modern Zeiss lenses or like Sigmas if you're kind of used to that look. They just have a very modern look. The DZOs on the other hand very much remind me of like Cook's or sort of vintage Zeiss lens. They have a more of a warmer, a bit of a yellower look to it. They have a softer and lower contrast overall. So not, not only are you getting more dynamic range with it, but you're getting an overall more pleasing look out of the lens. So I would feel, if I was just based on the look and feel of these lenses, I think I'd probably have to go with the with the DZO Catas because they just overall have a better look and feel to them, regardless of their performance in close focus or their range, they just look nicer. And when you want pick lenses for your film, you want to pick the ones that look ni the nicest. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope that if you're kind of between these two lenses or trying to decide between them, or if you just wanted to watch an entertaining video, if this was helpful for you to decide which lens was worth your money, or if you just like wanted to watch me blabber and got some entertainment out of this. Anyways, catch you in the next one. Peace. Wait, no, I can't say that. That's that's Marquez's thing. Um, that's a cut. That's a wrap. So both these lenses are actually uh, priced pretty confederate. Oh, geez, pretty, they're confederately priced. <laughs> Super racist lens. So racist. <laughs> I gotta remember to look yeah. there, not there, right there. Yeah, I'll do one. I'll do one more just in case that's a little too. I don't know. Passive aggressive.